Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back. I was going to uh, just build this and then play it, but let's 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 start recording now so you guys can watch the brewing process that we're going to go through. Uh, Danny DB, long time long time maniac and supporter, has uh, has encouraged us to build Voyaging Seder, Teamer Sabretooth, Teamer Ascendancy, and Nykthos. This is a four card combo, but hopefully we can just win the game without worrying about. Uh, having to assemble it but it's there if you need it right so you have to have seven green mana uh made by nykthos you're going to be able to play team or saber tooth pay two of that mana to bounce voyaging Seder, and you're going to recast voyaging Seder for two more mana and then you're going to untap nykthos and use two more mana to activate the nykthos which is six mana and that's going to be a loop you're going to keep drawing uh you're going to net a mana basically every time every time it happens what do we do with that mana is anyone's guess. The original version of this deck had Genesis Hydra. Thank you. Super Fritz, lucky 13, my dude. Lucky 13. All right, so the original version had... Hmm... But we can also make the deck in such a way that, like, we don't have to worry about those things. What's the blue-green? What's the red-blue land? Rootfall, rootbound. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Yeah, I'm a mighty, mighty man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. And then we're going to have... Eh, Castle Garenbrick seems like it could be good. Is it two of, maybe? This is 24 lands. So, Steel Leaf Champion. Solid. Courser also seems pretty good here. We really just want green devotion cards, right? I almost feel like this is a deck that can just utilize Ugin. But I feel like we do want some four power dudes as well. Yeah, Nylee is pretty sweet. Also, Nylee is a good mana sink for infinite mana. Hmm. I'm looking at this list over here. It has two Pelucranos, four Eidolon of Blossoms, which is interesting. Um, it has Boon Seder because that guy can draw you cards. It has Genesis Hydra. I do like Questing Beast a lot. Oh, I don't actually own Questing Beast. I was just borrowing them. I'm mighty mighty man and I'm young and I'm in my prime. Yeah, I'm a mighty mighty man and I'm young and I'm in my prime. Oko, Brazen, Questing Beast is 10 now. I wish I bought it when I was 6. What is Nissa gonna do here? She doesn't trigger Team or Ascendancy. The lands already have haste. And the double mana is not super exciting because we already have a way to get mana. 
I do like Questing Beast a lot. Oh, geez. All right. So let me go to old fashioned mana traders .com, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to get some questing beasts. I wonder if we want Oko's here. Yeah, I mean, what's his name is huge. Arbor Colossus is huge. It's also a great way to deal with all the friggin' glory burners that we've been finding. I think two Arbor Colossus is actually fine here. Crater Hoof isn't legal in this format, you damn maniac. And they get haste. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to put in three questing beasts as well. Oh, uh, what else do we want? Maybe like Elvish Mystic? Do we want just like a... Another ramp spell? Maybe Commune isn't... Commune seems good. It hits Teamer Ascendancy on all of our creatures. Putting the rest in the graveyard might not be great, though. Is there any good card draw that we can have? I mean, I guess that's what Eidolon is for, right? Because you hit it off... Uh, it triggers off of Teamer Ascendancy, off of Corsair, off of Nylia... They also had Boon Seder in the original list, which it also triggers off of. <laughs> what if we did the greatest thing possible and played Prophet of Crew Fix? And this is from Manitraders.com. A pretty amazing subscription service that you guys can take advantage of down below with 20% off for your first three months if you use the link and promo code in the description. I should brew up wealth for Pioneer. Uh, ironically, that was the first deck I did brew up, and you can find it on my YouTube page, and I streamed it as well. So, I, in one way, I agree with you. In another, you should make sure you subscribe on YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore. Okay, so it's manatraders.com, my dude. This leaves us with five slots. Hmm. Look, we have nothing to do on turn one. Is that okay with a green deck? I don't know. This leaves us with three slots now. I do like Elvish Mystic on turn one. I'll take out one more Garen Brig and add one more Forest. This leaves us with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ways to produce green on turn one. Hmm. A hey, Garen Brig doesn't do as much as I want. The problem is if you have four mana and a Garen Brig, you're already able to cast most things anyway. But if you have four mana and a Garen Brig, it does let us activate the monstrosity on this guy. Groundbreaker. Wow. Wow. All right. Um. Hmm. What was the elves deck? What do we have in here? Uh, Peace Whisper, Nissa. Uh, Garen Brink's not going to necessarily... Eh, well, no, because you're not going to be able to act... You can't use its own mana to activate itself. 
So maybe we just cut it. I don't know. It seems good, but I, I want to make sure we have forests for Hinterland Harbors and for Rootbound Crags to come into play tapped. Domri, huh? Which one, Kerwit? I only have this one. That's weird. I thought I would have had more. What are we going to do with the mana, though, right? Um, what are the X spells that are legal in this format? Let's find out. Okay. Uh, mana cost has an X in it. It is green, red, or blue, and it is legal in Pioneer. Wow, there are 73 X spells in Pioneer. That was more than I was expecting. Oh, uh, a Clan Defiance is, is pretty sweet. Choose one or more. It deals X damage target creature with flying, target creature without flying, and target player. That's a cool one. I mean, if we're going for, like, a burn spell, it's got to be just Banefire by itself, right? I can't imagine that's, uh... I can't imagine there's a better option. Hydroid Crassus is a thing. Huh. Yeah, good old Clam Defiance. Let's add one Crassus, one Banefire, and I wonder what else. Oh, mighty, mighty man, no, me, no, no. Walking Ballista. Hmm. I mean, if we're making infinite mana, I'd rather have uh, either Banefire or Walking Ballista that can win the game on the spot. And if we're not making infinite mana, Hydroid Crassus is pretty sweet because it does a lot of things in this deck. All right, so let's go return to... Put three return to nature in the sideboard. I don't think there's a better option than that. What else are good sideboard cards for green? I like a Rex Sage. Shifting Ceratoc? Shifting Ceratops? Which Ceratoc? Which are you talking about? There's a Ceratoc? Is it a Ceratoc I don't have? That's a Ceratops, you liar. Is that even good, though? I mean, how many people are playing... Is blue that prevalent? I'll put two in there for now. Man, you guys are putting a lot of pro blue things in here. Um, it goes uh, corpse jack menace. Oh my god! Uh, why would crazy? Why were creators calls be better than Banefire? It's only early interaction if you have 
uh, a creature with four power, which doesn't make it that early. I mean, I feel like that's like a turn five play, which doesn't really, doesn't seem super early. I'm trying to figure out like what we've played against in this format that we have to worry about. What does Miscutter Hydra do that like, what are we doing? What are we putting it in for? Like pro blue cards? Because I'd rather just have Shifting Ceratops. Seven more sideboard slots for a mostly mono blue deck. Eight forty five PM, Thwok, get it together, my dude. Yeah, Pro Blue cannot be counter in haste, but, like, this guy can't be either. Like, this is basically the same thing. And, like, I think this guy's going to be better most of the time. But also, like, we don't need that much Pro Blue. I don't think there's that much Blue. There aren't that many Blue decks in, in the format. I think Immortal Sun's fine in the green decks that don't have Planeswalkers. Uh, I like Blossoming... I like Blossoming defense a lot better than heroic intervention heroic interventions like two mana for like the same thing and they're not going to be targeting two of your creatures so like i'd much rather just have blossoming defense to protect one of them than like spend two mana to protect probably just one of them as well i mean the only thing we're worried about is, is supreme verdict right like i mean i guess there's also like um the red sweepers too I don't know. I guess it's an option, but like Supreme Verdict's gonna kill these guys, but like the, the three damage sweepers aren't gonna kill these guys or this guy or this guy. Are there like red aggro decks that I should be worried about? Feed the clan seems good, I guess. I could see two feed the clan. Alright, let's try it like this and we'll see what we face. Old beep beep. <laughs> it's kind of what we were afraid of. I don't like that commune can't hit lands, but... Nali's Disciple could actually be better. I like that. Chandra seems a little rough as double red. I don't really feel like we're a deck that's going to be getting double red too consistently. I mean, if we can hit one more green source to play this Courser of Crucifix, I, oh, well, never mind. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, all those cards going in the graveyard is really kind of a bummer. We did not put any Karyatids in. We have four Voyaging Sater and four Elvish Mystic. I might replace the, the Communes with, with Karyatids. Just to make sure, because we have a lot of expensive things, and I kind of want to make sure we can hit our colors as well, so.
And Voyaging Seder dies. Cool. I'm a mighty mighty man, I'm young, I'm in my prime. Oh god, I just dropped everything. Oh, a tireless tracker, eh? Well, that's nice. Unfortunately, we don't have ways to deal with that. Land on top. It's not a land on the top. It's a questing beast. That is unfortunate. Okay, so they're putting a land in their hand. And they're playing that land. Sure. Seems good. Literally kill every relevant card I've had so far. Must be nice. What's going on here? Bad parting. Hey, a four drop. And we knew we didn't have land for it. I guess we'll play this guy and just hope he survives. We have 24 lands. Yep, all right. Well, you know what? Maybe land into Questing Beast is good. Questing Beast number three instead. Cool. The problem with Elvish Mystic is that you really need a stomping ground or a breeding pool on turn one to cast Teamer Ascendancy on turn two. I don't know what's going on. T -t -t Today, Junior! Yes. <clears throat> uh, keep thanks to Stomping Ground. Okay. Where's our blue source, my dudes? Where is our blue source? So 
So if we do hit a blue source, we can actually play both of these. If you had a carry added, you'd have a blue source. Wow. Wow. <sighs> sure. Yep, that seems better. Blue source, my dudes. That's a that's a dude, all right. Uh, no fail of passages because then we also need an island and a mountain, which kind of suck at, at most junctures in the deck. And also because, again, I just dislike lands that come into play tapped. I, I, I just don't like fail of passage coming into play uh, tapped in turns 1, 2, and 3. I mean, if fail of passage could hit shock lands, I'd be on board. Oh, a team of ascendancy on the top, huh? Well then. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'll play you. I almost want to wait to play this, right? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. We could play one, two, three, activate this. I mean, like assuming they don't do anything that really hurts us. Because if we play this next turn, and then we play Arbor Colossus, they can't, they, it's going to have haste anyway and we get to draw a card. So the really, the only thing we're like super worried about is, I don't know. I guess there's lots of things we're super worried about, but. Like you do. Like you do. Would birds be better than mana elves? Oh, for sure. Hello, my love. Oh, yes. Take that last card in my hand. Fantastic. Questing Beast, Team or Sabretooth land oh boy birds is not pioneer legal <laughs> no birds have not been printed in a long time you're looking down I'm feeling down
Oh, Hydroid Crassus is pretty neat. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not bad. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a hasty 4-4 four, four that draws us two, three cards. Thank you for returning Frank to us. Please don't take him away that long again. Wow. I got bad news, guys. Christmas is coming. I'll have you know I did that with my fucking eyes closed. I conceded that game with my eyes closed. Okay. Just to be clear. Do, 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 do. Two of these guys. Maybe heroic is better. Jeez. So weird. The indestructibles are really, uh. You can see them on stream like the rest of us. Wow. That's aggressive. I also really like the Hydroid Crassus there. That was pretty sweet. I mean, Heroic, I guess, goes in the sideboard. I was wondering if you joined any of the Vintage Masters because one of my favorite clips of you was when you got to have a Blacklist next draft you have on the phone. Yeah, that was actually fantastic. Um, I did one Vintage Masters yesterday, and I, got, I lost to Double Storm deck in a row, and that was pretty sweet. And then I paid $25. For nothing, essentially. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I feel like our deck is good. I don't know, maybe it's not good. I have no idea. Oh, we were looking for that clip yesterday. Is this clip, um, is this, is this clip a command yet? Because I want to make it one right now. Now Mike's dad is a command. Yeah, we're keeping this hand. Let's drop the drop the old hammer, as they say. That is definitely a solid clip. Will my dad ever come back? Alexa, will my dad ever come back? Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> that was a very solid clip, my dude. <laughs> Good lord. Can you counter this? No? I get a freed a freeding pool? Oh my god, the meat needed at the end. Yeah, 
me neither. <laughs> oh, the Thank Mike B one is good too, man. Wow, this one is also gas. Tough years, my. Thank you so much, Mike B. You don't get enough credit after a tough years. My wife getting sick, my dog going blind, having diabetes and cancer. Really bad time to be my dog. And me now in the hospital with blood clots. I turn on Frank and see you there behind him. And I say to myself, well, it could be worse. I could be Mike B. Wow. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. There's a nuclear got him. Wow. Oh, I, just, I thought it was I thought it was genuine. Oh my god, I'm listening I'm just listening to clips here. Okay, got an Oko. Uh oh. Okay, what's this one? Samsonite and there's Brickhouse, Jimmy the Fish, <laughs> Samsonite, and Boswell. <laughs> Boswell. Fucking Boswell. <laughs> Okay, you got me with Boswell. <laughs> Jimmy the Fish. <laughs> he got me with Boswell again, and he's not even here, man. Ooh, boy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Boswell. Well, that, see, that's hilarious. Oh, uh, if I untap any of these, do they do anything? I don't think so. So we're just going to attack your Oko. Oko cannot make enchantments, Elks, thankfully. Is my wheezing laugh a classic? Is it good? It feels bad. Okay, hold on. I'm going to clip this as A-team. Or make it a command rather. Now it's a now it's an A team command. Don't play supreme verdict. It's okay if you do. I have two creatures that I'm gonna play and they get haste. Fucking Boswell, dude. Jesus. Oh, this this jabroni, this baloney head. Yep, typical. So we're gonna make four mana. But we can make five if we play this. We can actually go one, two, three. Blue, red, green. Ascendance. Ascendance. And we can go tap these to make the greens. Untap this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we do it? Add the greens. One. Wait, yeah, we're activating this. Add the greens. Paying two. Eight. Pay this for four. Draw a card. Oh, we're God, we're doing it in our second match? This is amazing. Um, pay one. Oh, no, we're no, we're not doing it. Oh, no. We're two mana shy, aren't we? Because now we have to play this for two, but we don't have the mana to actually activate this. That's sad. Oh man, we're so close though. Uh, let's get Teferi and Oko, and you can pick which one you want to keep. It's still pretty, it's still pretty close. We can also still, we can just play Elvish Mystic here. 
Okay. Okay. Um, that's unfortunate because they're going to probably blink this guy, but I think that's... By blink, I mean they're going to... You know, they're going to turn into an elk. You know what I'm saying. I made you sad. I didn't... Like, it's not like I couldn't do anything, right? Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Are they granted? Okay. Are they just going to get... They can't play anything else. So that's their turn, right? I like it. Yeah, that's fine. You dead. Nah, buddy. You dead. One, four, five. We do. We have the combo now, my dude. Oh, we don't have the combo anymore. They ain't dead. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can put them to like three. Oh, you did. So, that's sad. One, two. Green. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can add the green. For like a million. Hmm. We can't untap this, so we might as well get it once, right? We can go green, green, green. Green, green. Green. We can bounce to reset Seder. That's pretty good. Let's play this, we'll take two. What's got into that cat, friskies? Let's add a million green mana. Activate this, this jabroni. Bounce you, replay you, untap you. Add a million green, bounce. This is what it's like to go infinite in the Pioneer format. Uh, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. So you can actually just return itself, right? Oh, it's another creature you control. So we'll bounce this guy. Replay you to draw a card. Eh, always yes. This might take a while. So six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. I hate that it keeps asking me to do this. There's a lot more. Actually, let's play this. And then make the green. Our opponent's like, what is, like this is gonna take a while. But our opponent has a Supreme Verdict in hand, so. This is, I'm going to say always yes to this, because there's no point in not saying always yes to this. That's better. I'm making mana here, boys. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. One, two. Bounce this guy. Replay you. Another tiger. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Because not only will it net more mana in the future, it also gives us more threats. This is actually great. Now we're going. Now we're going ham. Thirty-seven mana. Jesus. Yeah, we can we can eventually draw our whole deck. That's the that's the goal here. And what do we have? Um, one, two. Uh, we can actually bounce the tie. Oh wait, is it another creature you control? Oh, it's we paying the mana. Never mind. Uh, bounce the cat. Play the cat. Play this cat. Play this cat. What is this? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, we can just attack here. Okay. <laughs> we win. That's how going infinite works, boys. All right, that was pretty sweet, actually. Oh yeah, it's quicker with Nylea. Like, the win conditions we're looking for are all of these, or just a bunch of guys. So. I think Heroic Intervention is probably something we want here. Probably take out one Steel Leaf Champion. Ah, that's too good. They're too good. Take out one Arbor Claw. Ah, that's too good, too. <laughs> take out Walking Blista and one Mystic, I guess. What up, David? Good seeing you, my dude. Alright, we can start up here as well. Um, you know what? I'll keep this hand. It's not super quick, but we're on the draw. Maybe we hit a green thing. Can you imagine if this had once upon a time in it? Man, that felt good. That felt nice. Oh, actually, Teamer Ascendancy into any of these jabronis is pretty insane. Let's see if we can live the dream. <coughs> well, that's unfortunate, but... I guess we do need a third land. Oh, did they just bounce that for no value? Oh, that's insane. So now we get to play Questing Beast... Uh, draw a card, attack Teferi, end them. David, no, you did not, buddy. No, you did not. <coughs> Pithing needle. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. What do you even name? Voyaging Seder? I guess. Teamer Sabretooth? I guess. Never call me... I don't even know what your name is. God, and we get to draw a card? Always yes. Buddy, I'm never saying no to drawing a card. Attack your face. Kill your jabroni. Questing Beast is a real magic card, guys. Ooh. What's this? What are you doing now? Fires of Invention. 
into supreme verdict. Okay, my dude. Oath of Teferi. What does that do? You have no planeswalkers. Well, that's interesting. I don't think it does anything particular right now. Sure. I'll just nine you here and put you to eight because that lets us, uh, well, it lets us do a lot of things. Like, they have to have a Supreme Verdict here. Elspeth's pretty good. That, those are both pretty good. Those are both good draws. Oh, they didn't actually wipe the board here? Oh, they activated it twice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty decent. One card, you can't play anything, huh? Alright, so we're going to attack Jace with Elspeth with you, so she dies, and Jace with you. Oh, why didn't we just attack their face? Ah, uh, <clears throat> I missed lethal? Oh, not right now, I didn't, because they have double Jace activation. So all our guys get negative two, negative two. I did miss attacking their face with Questing Beast, which would have been great, but... I guess we're hoping they don't have, uh... That. Literally that is what we're hoping they didn't have. <clears throat> you may return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Great. <sighs> yeah, seems good. Seems good. Two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. <laughs> sure. Wow, this 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 deck was doing quite well until they got uh you know four four Elspeth activations and four Jace activations. But, you know. <clears throat> One, two, three, Ascendancy. One, two, three, another Ascendancy. I think we're just going to play a Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, uh, always yield and always yes. Interesting. <clears throat> so 
they have four cards. Supreme Verdict. <clears throat> well, that's a thing. So that's your one play? That's actually not terrible for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're going to play these guys? That's interesting. Hmm. Yikes. Yep, that'll do. <clears throat> we have no way to draw anything, and they have a Supreme Verdict. And... Alright, so, Heroic Intervention's decent. But, Return to Nature, also pretty good. Immortal Sun seems phenomenal in this matchup. So four cards need to be cut. I'm going to cut the Nylia. I'm going to cut one Arbor Colossus. Cut a Corsair, and we'll cut one Elvish Mystic. Actually, we'll cut the other Sylvan Carry added. I do like having the one drops. You know what? We'll give it a shot. No guts, no glory. Whatever that means. Hmm. You gonna have Sabertooth again? Come on, land. That'll be a land next turn, I guess. Ideally, if one of the top two cards are a land. Oh, Zimini Pot, what up, my dude? Here we go. Land. Bam. Nailed it. All right. 24 lands. Can't hit a second fucking land. That's incredible. Good time. Everything is all right. Gonna wipe the board eventually. I bet they hit a... Uh, you ready for them to hit a Supreme Verdict with Narset? I am. I'm ready for it. Fantastic. It is fantastic, my dudes. So we can go one, two to add four, and then five. We're one mana shy of casting. One, two, four, five. Yep. We are one mana shy, and everything else we play is just going to die, so that's actually incredible. And our next land that we're going to draw is a fucking Nykthos. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. Oh, that's infuriating. All right, so. Man, Immortal Sun's solid. I don't want to add a 25th land because that seems unbelievably stupid. I guess we could have mulliganed there, but. I don't know. <clears throat> What's up, Stainer? Okay, now we're talking. This is a hand.
It's a risky keep, but like three elves in the hand and like a land, like. And then we whiff off Corsair Prefix. Like, I mean, I don't know. Things could have definitely gone differently. Wow, that's a hand. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> oh, a turn to Gilded Goose. Oh, well. I have my doubts this is the mirror match. This guy out of sight. <clears throat> you know, I'm never oh, I got a free mox amber. <clears throat> what up, Mr. Ten Dollar Bill? Golden egg. Golden egg. This guy's coming down, dealing your damn. Oh, you can counter this thing? It's impressive. Syncopate for one? Today, Junior! Making fun of a child who's trying to read. Sure. I love Questing Beast too, but I love it even more when it resolves. Here comes an Oko. They never don't have Oko. When do you make the decision to play Mystic over Llanowar? Uh, When I figure out which one comes to my mind first when I'm searching for them. Seems good. Oko and Heart of Kirin seem pretty phenomenal together. Land on top. One time. 24 lands in the deck. Never fails. Never fucking fails. Can't even attack because they have Oko and they can just create the Heart of Kirin and block. So we are basically shut down, unfortunately. <clears throat> I 
think we're dead here. Our big problem is the same thing we is, is the same thing we experienced with the elf deck the other day is that we just don't have very many uh, ways to interact with our opponent's things. So like if they play an Oko, if they play a Heart of Kieran, like it's just really hard to do anything about it. But we're playing a green deck, so it's like, how many answers do we really have? Like, Questing Beast is one of the best answers for Planeswalkers. But Heart of Kieran's pretty busted. Oh my god. If Pioneer just ends up being Oko... Teferi round two, it's just going to be so miserable. Uh, the next, bannings are always on Mondays, so. What did they target with Jace? Mox Amber, just so they can replay it. No land again. Wow, that's un that's unbelievable. <laughs> Twelve cards, three lands. Sure. Let's bring in shifting Ceratrops. And this guy. What's got into that cat? Friskies. You guys know Friskies? Do you guys know? Do you guys know Friskies? Take out the Nylea, take out one Arbor Colossus. <sighs> Return to Nature seems pretty decent. It gets rid of the stupid. I'm actually pretty sure Walking Blessed is just better than Banefire because, like, in a situation in the other game where we didn't have... I guess if you have... I guess you're always going to be able to draw enough cards that you draw, like, a, a Sylvan Carry added or a Red Source. Um, and then you can always bounce the Sylvan Carry added with the the Sabretooth and replay it to get the Red Mana. So that, that should never actually be an issue. Good times. Everything is alright. So then, how about a Voyaging Seder or a Elvish Mystic? <laughs> what did you do to Lance to make them hate you? Um, you got me, my dude. You have gotten me. Okay, you can't activate that currently. So. Oh, now you 
can. And it costs one less. Look at that. Look at that. In before metallic rebuke. Never don't have it. Do do do. Counter all my things. Never don't have the counter spell. Good for you. Good for you. This could be good. If they don't have a second metallic rebuke. Oh, I guess it doesn't even kill the Oko. It just deals them four and then they get to make this a 3-3. Three, three. I don't think this works the way you think it works, my dude. You can't tap both of these for Metallic Rebuke and also sack one to the goose. Sorry. One second, gentlemen. Make sure that gets our cringe face. Yep. Okay. We are doing good. So we know they have Metallic Rebuke, right? So they can just cast... I guess they can't cast it. Let's get rid of the... Oh, Karn, I guess. Look at this combination. Karn makes guys. Yeah, we can't beat any of this. This is rough. Unfortunately, what I've been learning uh, through like deck critiques and stuff recently is that a lot of times, like, you're just not able to do certain things in this format because there's just too much going on. One of the primary things that is going on being uh, like vehicles and. <clears throat> and and planeswalkers planeswalkers and vehicles seem to be like the the driving force between uh in pioneer right now yep can't even attack Well, you 
can have this spire of okay this phone's gonna I mean, we're literally like one voyaging state away from going infinite, so. I have to get rid of this phone. This is my old Galaxy S9 Plus. So I have to sell it. <laughs> because I got this one. Which, look at these colors, though. These colors look great. Look at them. So, I have to get rid of this phone somehow. I'm probably just going to sell it on the internets. We need that one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. Yes, we do need that. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, this guy. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. Played around second metallic rebuke. So we're not dead yet. Have a land of war elf. <clears throat> you can have a land of war elf. So, did you play the spire last turn? Yes, yes, you did. Okay. Exchange control. Sure. Thank you. Torrential Dailish, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I still have a beeper, man. Beepers be crazy. How much mana can we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can make five. Now we make seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Okay. That's pretty good. Eleven mana is no joke. I mean, we know we're going to draw a team or saber tooth, though. Oh, Immortal Sun seems pretty legit. So Immortal Shun, Immortal Shun shuts off these two guys, but they know it's coming, so can they do anything about that? I don't know. They do have like seven power in the air. Okay, two seven sevens seems good. So they get the good value out of that, out of that, out of that Karn.
Sure. Return your mocks. Isn't your last card a second Llanowar Elf? Okay, so you have Llanowar Elf, one other card. I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know why they made a food right there. I guess these guys are fat daddies. Okay. Got another goose. Now they're, now they're real fat daddies. Why don't my creatures have flying? This is a hell of a turn. I mean, Glory, uh, the, the, the answer to Glorybringer is just as good against 4 4 Heart of Kirins, you know what I mean? Fascinating. So, 1 2 3, 1 2, activate. We can still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's play Immortal Sun first. And then we can play Corsair for only one, two mana. So our guys are bigger, our spells cost less, draw an extra card. Man, if only, if only these were also Planeswalkers. I think our best draw would be like Corsair of Crufix, Thank Arbor, you. Arbor Dude, Arbor Day, four, five, six, seven. If there's an Arbor Colossus on top, that'd be friggin' gas. Take out both of these guys, huh? So, yeah.
did not remember that, unfortunately. So we're gonna go one, two, activate this guy. Yes, bounce you. Sure, that's fine. We lose this elf, but. Something good. That could be okay. I think if there's a land on top, we might be in good shape. All right, so we get to go, all right, we get to survive this turn, which is pretty, pretty baller. Questing Beast is a cool dude. I mean, if there's a Questing Beast Ascendancy on top, then we're still actually in this game, which is pretty funny. I really should go to bed. Well, I mean, you've stuck it this far. You might as well stick around. Might as well stay a while and listen. These are only 10 10s that can become 12 12s, so that's pretty good. There should be a Star Wars, yeah. I need a Star Wars tonight. Hinterland Harbor. Oh, come the fuck on. Really? It's going to be the next card? We get to go infinite if we draw, like, the next card? So we can gain three, go to five. But they have two vehicles, so we die because of that. There's a team or ascendancy on top. We can't draw that. It's so dumb, dude. Thank you. Literal, literal win the game if we just get to draw this. That's really stupid. Bulamog, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. T Bombadil, also thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Sorry, this game was a little uh, intense. Nerds, though, what'd you say? One day I'll be on Frank's stream in person and we're going to have a great time drafting and joking. People are going to send us odd food to eat and some are going to be put, ba put bad jokes about me in chat that me and Frank are going to laugh about. That is my dream. And like my mother told me, son, have a dream, but aim low. Wow. That's, that's low. That's low. I appreciate how low that is. I'm like, I'm just staring at this and feeling terrible. We can win. This doesn't have reach, unfortunately. It has Vigilance, Death Touch, and Haste. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna play this guy, we're gonna gain <sighs> That's so infuriating.
There's nothing that's going to let us draw a card or like... Yeah, that's game. Like, we can make so much mana right now, it's ridiculous, but... It's so dumb. That's infuriating. I think we went 0-4 with this deck, unfortunately. Or was it 0-3? 0-3. I feel like we're just so close is the problem. It was not GG's, it was BG's. Oh, man. Dude, these stupid vehicles. Is there any creature that has four more toughness, four more power that can kill a vehicle? I'm gonna find out next time on Dragon Destroy Artifact. Uh, at most these colors, green or red. Might as well say blue two and power equal to four. Indric Stompaller, I guess. Conclave Naturalists. Destroy an artifact enchantment. You may destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Uh, Naturalists is just pretty much better. Ulamog. Wow. I kind of want Conclave Naturalists in the sideboard instead of Return to Nature. They kill lots of things. Shifting Ceratops is a card I just didn't care about having. We're actually going to aggressively cut one land here. Play one Naturalist in the main deck and I'll add more to that. Actually, I, I really like that. The Immortal Sum is good. I have not done any, any Modern Horizons flashback drafts. Mostly because I did a ton of them when they were here and I just feel like they were here recently. So I wasn't really like super, super flashbacky. All right, we're gonna do one more. See if we can four zero, and by four zero, I mean one four. That's a one four, good buddy. And after this, I'm going to eat some food, and then I'm going to come back later for some for some Fallen Order, if that's a thing you guys are interested in. We can, we can follow the orders. What the hell does that mean? All right, Daniel, let's see if we can do it. I, I don't think the deck is... It's, it's funny, because I don't think the deck is bad. I just think it's missing something. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a gamble. Thank you. Jay Pisto, thank you so much. Sending all the love over from China. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Tell China I said what's up. I hope you, I hope things are going well for you guys in China. I saw that big victory recently, and I was stoked about it. Bulamog, I I'm going to go I'm going to go offline, but then I'll I'll sign back on, so make sure you have like your notifications on. Got a homebrew for you, hopefully it goes alright. I'm like, oh, same, buddy. Same.
Boom, 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 boom. I guess we'll just play Corsair. It's a better use of mana. Oh, Arbor Colossus. Nerds, to have a good night, buddy. One day we'll stream together. And people will send us food. And there'll be jokes in the chat about you. I believe it. Chromatic Lantern. God, Conclave Naturalists seem like they're main deckable. Almost better than Arbor Colossus, right? No, it's because of the pips. You just want them pips. A dude can dream of pips. I swear to God, if you languish or something, though, I'm going to lose my friggin' mind. Oh, God, we're doing, we're going so deep here, guys. Um, so one of the things I think is a problem is that you need a, a Nykthos, you need a Voyaging Seder, you need a, a Sabretooth, and you need a Team of Ascendancy. Like, as much as we want it to be, like, uh, as, as much as we want it to happen, this is a four-card combo, which is not super easy. And the thing you want to do when you have a deck that has a four-card combo like that is you want to make sure all the cards surrounding it are good on their own so that you can kind of have like a like a mid-rangey game plan so that you're not just like floundering if you don't hit your combos. He's like, I don't like what's coming, so this is where they're like, I'm going to languish and kill all your dudes. And then I'm like, but nothing is coming now. Oh, geez, that's interesting. So we got two, three, just play a little regular land. And now we're going to draw a little dirt burger. God, I'm just really hoping for no sweeper. Like, that's my biggest concern. Don't 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 sweep me away. Then he waddled away. He waddled, waddled, waddled. So the name of the deck. We have 13 damage on board. So they're gonna have to actually play their sweeper here and kill everything. We had a good run. See you later, board. Corsair of Crufix being enchantment is really a it's really a downer. Oh, that's fascinating. Doesn't do anything currently, but you know. It's Nickel Brolis, my dudes. Might as well go to a forest because actually, um, if we got rid of this, we gain an extra life from playing it, and we also have another blue source, so I'm okay with that. All right, they have two cards in hand, and we can actually one, two, three, four. We can actually kill Nickel Brolis if 
they don't have a removale. Attack all at Nickel Brolis. Okay. Okay. Oath of Teferi, not as bad when they have any other planeswalkers. Oh, what up, Chris? Chris, I'm a big fan of yours. I'm really glad you got chips in your ice cream, my dude. Got some dog hair. God, Hunter sheds so much. It's unbelievable. If you guys have any solutions about what I can do about Hunter's ridiculous shedding, please let me know. Oh. Can we do it? I think we just win. Guys, I think we win. Guys, we're winning. Danny, we're doing it. Danny, I hope you're still alive. Danny B, I hope you're Danny D B. Michael B. Danny D B. Look at all these creatures coming into play. Gonna untap the Nykthos. Gonna make lots of mana. Gonna pay two to make that sweet, sweet mana. Ooh. Are you gonna this? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Oh, you're just drawing a card. Oh, oh okay. Oh, got a little... Whew. It's getting a little hot in here. I got a little verklempt. I think they lost. Oh, they conceded. Guys. Well, they still won the game. So they had a search, a lantern, a nickel bolus. Man, we would have went ham. We would have went ham, swine, skillet. God, I just want this immortal sun in every matchup. Take out the Nylia. We'll take out one of these two things. Probably Walking Burlista. Walking Barista. One card advantage, please. All right, we're taking it. We are two combo pieces away. That's so many. Three if you consider a red source a combo piece. I think Danny died. I think Danny DB didn't make it, which is unfortunate because we did it again. I'm so sorry, Danny. I wish I could have done you. I wish I could have done you more proud. Sometimes you give me impossible, impossible tasks, though. Oh, look at that little chip monkey. 
Oh, it's more like a sloth than a monkey, Frank. Okay, that's fair. Oh. Here he is. He's growling. He's dreaming of squirrels, guys. Can you hear it? it alas, it was just one dream. Ooh, Conclave Naturalist is gas. We're gonna naturalist that that search for Escont all day. See, now I'm just tempted to play that instead. Pookoo! Look at these hasty boys. Two hasty little nuggets. You got counter spells? Two, three, four, five. Let us find out. Doesn't look like it. Hasty Nuggets is the name of my ska band? That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Put it in the graveyard. Destroy the child. Okay, well. This is where we go, ham, swine, skillet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can go one, two, three for Courser. Play this land for free. And I like doing it so much, I cut that grass for free. Um, now we can go one, two, Make a lot of green. Six green. Play this guy for a lot of green. Still hope you don't wipe my board. I guess the best power about uh, things is that even if they wipe the board, like we still just get to, like we're drawing cards for each of these guys, so. Got a free land off this and two two cards off this, so. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, they go to three. And then this still stays in place. So we can just play Colossus or Naturalists and kill them. Oh man. Danny, I'm so sorry you missed this last match, which was the best one of all. But either way. This deck was fun. I mean I had a good time. I think Team Ascendancy is strong. It's like a Fires of Yavamaya, but uh lets you draw cards. So well, not Fires of Yavamaya. Um well kind of like Fires of Yavamaya, but also Rhythm of the Wild is what I was thinking. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to have your own decks critiqued, I am running a special and through the month of December. Uh, 30 bucks for any any deck. Any deck you guys want me to play, I will play it through some rounds, give you feedback, and throw it up on YouTube, and uh, we'll have a good time. So if you want me to do that, definitely let me know. You can reach me at frank at franklapore.com, and all the links are in the description below, so you can check those out. You can also check out coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday for new articles, manatraders.com, 
link and promo code are in the description for 20% off your first three months. And finally, patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Those are all great ways to support the channel. I will see you next time. Danny DB, thank you so much for the for the the op the opportunity to play this deck. As always, I really appreciate you, my dude. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.